Okay, so let's go ahead and model a uh, UV map for the foxing here. So I'm going to just uh, select that and hit Shift H to hide it. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, UV map panel here. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold down the Shift key and select Bounds to select the outer boundaries of this. And I'm going to go ahead and click the Unwrap tool, click in the viewport. There we go. And that's not too bad. And let's take a look at what it looks like with a UV map on it. Oop, let me go grab one. Uh, UV texture, I mean. There we go. As we can see, that's not too terrible. Um, the map is pretty consistent inside, but there is some uh, some arching uh, line work here. So it's not, it's not completely smooth. So let's try a couple of different settings here. Let's uh, bring up the... Uh, tool properties, put that right there. We can, uh, I think angle base is fine. I've got spherical, let's see what planar looks like. Um, that really didn't change anything. There it goes. Um, I don't know why it didn't pin. There we go. So uh, that's a little different. That actually flipped it upside down, didn't it? So let's go back to, uh, well, let's see. Let's try a couple of different settings here. There we go. That seemed to correct it. Uh, pinning axis will change to uh, the V direction. And I, uh, I still have these kind of curves going on on the, uh, on the grid map. Uh, so, so I want to try something a little different here. Uh, leaving it like this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the polygons. Uh, they should all be selected with nothing selected. And I'm going to go over to where it says rectangle. And look at that. If I click that, it made a perfect rectangle out of that geometry. And what I've got now is a really good sort of line work that follows the contours of the, of the, of the model itself. And I like that. Uh, if you see how these polygons, I'll hit loop there, and you can see how those kind of uh, have a nice graceful curve to them. And so does the so does the line work on the image map. So I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to go to fit, Just fit that there in the middle, and I'll use my um, uh, translate tool. Let's see. Let's go to just use the Y key here, so I can get them all. And I'm going to increase the size of that, and that's going to shrink down my image map on there. It's going to add more area to that UV. And yes, uh, I think that's a pretty good map, actually, and I think I'm going to go with that. So using the unwrap tool and the rectangle.